I We're playing Digimon with guns. Digimon, Pokemon with guns. It's <laughs> funny. It's what everyone calls it Pokemon with guns. I want it to be edgy and say it's Digimon with guns. Okay, further down there we can't take anything yet because... Meh, there's nothing. Let's try to build a base. Do we... No, you gave me some wood. I guess that's nice. Yeah, talking to those is useful to get some starting resources. Let's see, let's see. By the way, I've uh, been spending some time to figure out which of the of the character stats is worth putting points in. And both work speed and attack is apparently not worth it. Yeah, I did because... that on the first time testing it. Yeah, because attack, let's face it, the pallets are going to be your powerhouses. Yeah. Work speed. Eventually, you're going to have the pallets do all of it. Exactly. Mm, there are a few good spots to build bases. I still like the first spot that I picked in the first time. I mean, you know the, the place where we built our second base during the test runs. That's a nice spot, but I don't want to use that as the first one. Yeah, I'm just thinking of, of places where we have support of both wood and stone, you know, for our first base. Yeah, um, there's the spot that's not far from the tower. That's where I first built. And I like that spot just because it's basically got everything. Yeah, yeah. You know, you could have left it standing so that I could have crafted me some basic gear. Thank you, please. <laughs> Sorry, um... You did the building the last time, I... Yeah, not really thinking about it. Woohoo! I got a club! I'm a caveman now. Bunga bunga. Uga aga ega aga. Uga uga. Yeah, I like to put my points into weight, health, and a little bit into stamina, maybe. I've really only done um, weight and health. For now, we collect a little bit of everything. Start taming a few pals, and then we look for a space for a base, and then... Yeah. Then basically we start building bases, but not... Like, building a base right from the start is not always the best solutions in games like these. Nope. I'm going to look around for a bit. I usually start with going after the pals first. Let's see. Need a little bit, of, a little bit of stone so that I could actually uh, start crafting. Ah, this is looking better. Let's make a second table. Yeah, for now. Okay, got a pickaxe. Now I can get some stone. Look at that! There's a big paw that I really would like to tame, but we can't do that yet. Oh, I, I, yeah, I've seen that. I've seen it before, but I've not seen it over here. Oh, this one runs around everywhere in this area. You know, I need. I want to find a fluff ball. Damn it! I don't want to kill it. Whoopsie! Yeah. Looks like I already need to build our first uh, storage box for now. Because I'm carrying too much weight. But since it's this, this is not a base, it doesn't draw from the chests. Yeah. 
Here we go. We got a couple more pals. Ah, nice. Now I'm gonna get some aldinium. Yeah, that's the plan for me as well. Aldium. So one thing about this game, the start is a little bit slow. Oh yeah, definitely. But hey, after you manage to set up a base, things really get rolling. Yeah, especially once you can start automating things and having more than one pal work. You're supposed to stay working. Can I not go out of a certain range? Since this is not a base, they won't do that. Well, if you throw them there, they'll work. Yeah, but, but not for long. If you go out outside the range, then uh, yes, of course they follow you. Uh, oh well. I mean, we could set up base at the same spot I set it up during the uh, experimenting phase. But what we really want is a place that has wood and stone. At the very least, within the range of the base. Unless you want us to constantly... Uh, farm this ourselves I mean there are the stations for it so yeah but we need to unlock those first yeah but that's all based off of the upgrading the base yeah I need some more wood and then I'm ready to start taming my own pals okay well I'm ready to start exploring a little do that once I've cut, caught up a little, I follow. And here goes one of the next problems. The night is cold. Oh. Yeah. So you want to stay somewhere where it's warm. Or freeze. Luckily though, if you have a base, and you have enough bats for all players, you, you can, can skip actually... The night. Yeah, you can actually skip the night. So you want me to collect the uh, working stations so that we can basically use the materials to build them at a new place? Uh, sure. Or at least carry some of it. Well, there's a fire over there. I think I can go there. Well, time for me to capture some pals. Whoops! <laughs> I've slain a pal that I actually intended to capture. I've always known I'm evil, but... I didn't expect to be that evil. Well, now it's not night anymore, officially, so it's getting warmer. Have you arrived at the place where you want to set a base? Not yet. I'm building a pal box and I'm gonna switch pets and I'm gonna destroy it. Well, I've captured three so far. How about you? Oh, I've captured a few. Like I said, I'm at three. And one of my favorites is right in front of me. And I already found an egg. I have intentionally not picked up any of the eggs that I know of 
Well, it's just, it's not like I'm looking for it. I just kind of passed by it. And my favorite pal so far, or one of my favorite, is Corp. <laughs> I got a fox block. Alright, I got one too. I'm also collecting a pingulet. Got a daydream. Yeah, those are cool. Okay, found the spot I want to put the base. Nice. So gameplay wise, this game is a lot like Ark. Yeah, um, it's for me it's a combination of Ark, Craftopia, and Obviously, Pokemon. I mean, the inspiration is there, yes. Ah, yes, there you are. Oh, you put it down on... Why that? So you want to put it inside the house? So, what I'm thinking is... We clear most of the stuff here and put down foundations to keep everything flat. And it makes mm. it easier for stuff to not snag. Yeah, don't overextend. You're clearly overextending here. That's not necessary. Not sure what you mean by overextend, but Yeah, you're you're over you're overdoing it clearly. Okay, let's see. Pals, what do I have? Uh uh Right. Um Now where do I Put up a crafting. I mean, if you put foundations down, it blocks resources, so your pals don't go after random stuff. Yeah, but if you put down too many foundations, then you won't be able to pick up the things that you might want because, like you said, resources are being blocked. Yeah. It's got to be right on top of it for it to actually block it, though. That one over there, that Capriti. I would like it, but we're still way too low level for that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put down... We should, we should try building a house, so that we can uh, build beds. Do you want this to be the foundation of the house then? Uh, sure. Doesn't really matter to me. Um... Although this here is kind of clipping into the house. Um, I'm do I was doing this to keep it where pals don't get snagged on stuff. Because if things are too high or too low, they get snagged and stuck. This one is a rather flat area. They still can get snagged on the stuff around it. Say so. I kinda don't want... Hmm. I don't want to put the house around the uh, pal box. Because if you put in pal, they spawn in front of the box. So they would spawn inside the house. That's not something we want. I mean, you can put the house wherever. Sure. I think I put it somewhere at the at the edge where there is space. 
could put it against wherever you want, actually. I'm not building a big house anyway. Now let's see. Here is space and lots of it. Ah, what am I doing? Uh, since we have this area here, let's turn it into a house. Okay, I can't put down wall here, but I can... Gentlemen, we got a house. Oh, that's... whoopsie. I'ma move that a little. I'm building a bed for you as well. Well, you might as well not, because I've got to, uh... What? Craft it myself, anyway. You have to? Are you sure? Yeah. Thanks. Uh. What are they glitched on? Well then... So should we have the PAL box on the foundations or no? Uh... I wouldn't say we should. Okay. I originally did that to mark the location. can keep it here if you want. So what's in which chest right now? I want to go around and build pal bets and stuff. Uh, just moving stuff, but one's re main resources, the other one's like food. Yeah, we need to put down pal bets soon because the pals will get stressed. Yeah, no, I know. Mm, where do you want them? I. Uh, good question. Really, anywhere will work. Mm. That corner over here? What corner? Basically here behind the house? Um, that'd be fine. I don't think they'll have issues. 
Going around it, at least. I don't think so either. But they're apparently stuck there. Yeah. Put down the power box again and... There you go. Oh, they're inside, aren't they? Yes. You know, one thing I don't like about this PAL box thing is the fact that it blocks anything and everything. Yep. There, I'll do better. Get out there, merchant. Need to be creative with the bed soon. Okay, let's see. General storage chests. Time for the repair bench. to make a cloth outfit. After all, we can't afford to be naked. Nope. A glider is also needed. Now these two guys are waiting for something to do. trying to get to the rocks no uh, it's there's they won't these ones for some reason won't for the normal spots won't automatically gather there. not to okay. make sure that the AI in this game is just atrocious yeah but they said they wanted to make the AI better. I sure hope where do so. We, where do we put down the cooking spot? Real question is, feed bed and berry plant first. Yeah, I know. I'd say the berry plantation should go somewhere where there is room. So, free space over here. Yeah, I was thinking on the back side, have all the farming stuff on this back side here. You mean where the beds are now? Well, no, not where, not necessarily where the beds are at, but like this rim here. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. I agree. So, I'll be putting down a berry plantation right here. Yeah. For starters. The real question and is, I'm where putting... do we put the feeder? This corner? Yes, we we'll put it in this corner again. Make yourself useful, uh. my pal. So, if you're not uh, too much against it, I'm going to collect a pal that is uh, useful for farming purposes. 
like actually good. Yeah. I need to go that way. I went the wrong way to get a pal, but I want to get the... No, I can get that later. Um... Lost in my own train of thought, you know? Always. Yep. I'm putting down the campfire over here, by the way. For now. And after I make myself some meals... I'm making some for you too, by the way. After that, I'm going to collect some farming pelts. Wanna collect some of the gum moss over here? Yeah, or just marking the egg. Oh, 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 there's a daydream. That's not yours, is it? If it's in the base, it is. Yeah, it has a sanity value, so it's yours. Yep, it's working. to capture a tansy because that is the ideal uh, the ideal grass type uh, starter for the base let's put it that way because it can cut wood it can uh, plant berries so it's quite useful Also, it's night soon, so I can try capturing a daydream. On the way back. But first, Tansy. Or, why not? I see a lift monk. Uh, for the record, I got us a few berries of the, uh, well, berries, uh, skill fruits, as well as an ice type egg. Oh, I want to capture this tea fan. <laughs> or not, I one shot at it. Sorry, tea fan. Two mammarists are going really crazy down there. Wow. Oh, hello, Depresso. I heard you like being captured by me.
Oh. Okay. I need to catch this Tom bad. Or not. Thanks. My pal just one shot at it. And that would be why I usually try to be very careful and control when they're out. I was not expecting my pal to be able to one shot a pal that is basically five levels higher. Wow. Happens, apparently. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm not finding Tansy over here. Even though it's the regular area for them. Yep. Well, Might everyone. Be... Uh, I'm gonna call it for this first one here. I'm gonna do a lot of editing. Um, uh, so, this was Rovet Gaming and Shigoki playing... Pal world, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as it really does help. And we will see you all for the next one later.